Hi, this is Kayaker Magic, and I am going to show you the basics for using my Magic Posing System to add sitting animations to your furniture. Here is a, a very nice chair, but there's nothing in its inventory yet. It works best if you put the animations in first, so I'm going to drag these five animations in. And then the next thing you need is a copy of my uh, poser script. And uh, finally, you will need a copy of an object called the helper. Let's get rid of all these menus and we can start work. Because we put the animations uh, in first, the system was able to build us a menu that has the names of all of the uh, poses. So you might not have to rename them, but some of these names don't make much sense. I'm going to click on forward, which uh, FWD, which stands for forward. And so I'm going to rename it to uh, just forward so that it uh, look, makes more sense in English. Name them all now, but let's select the forward pose again and click on move and bring up the helper to, to move the forward pose into position. You sit on the helper tool, then use the normal build tools to move your avatar into uh, the position that you like for this pose. If you listen carefully, you hear a little peeping noise. Every time you stop moving or rotating your avatar, even for half a second, the system records the current position in memory automatically. Later, you'll save all the pose positions in a note card. Once you're happy with this pose, don't stand up. You can press the poses button, select a different pose, the avatar switches to that animation, and you can move it into position. You can go through all your animations one at a time, move them into position, and change the names. You don't have to do them in any order. You can go back to any of them and tweak the position again later. The system can display 11 or 12 poses at a time and displays pages of them 11 at a time with a more button when you have more than 12. When you have all your poses set up the way you like, press the Save button. This prints out a page of gobbledygook. To make your uh, pose menu permanent, you must open the local chat dialog, cut that gobbledygook out, and paste it into a params file in inventory.
Open up the inventory of the chair again and copy the params file into the chair. If the chair already has a params file, you should edit that one in place. While you're there, the last step is to delete the helper object. It cannot be shipped with your finished chair. Whenever you stand up, the helper that you're sitting on always deletes itself and goes away. Now this chair is ready to try out. Sitting in this chair is the two-step process. First, click on the chair and select a pose from the menu that appears. Then click on the chair a second time to land in the pose that you selected. Changing poses while sitting is the same. You click on the chair to bring up the menu, select a new pose. You're summarily dumped off the chair, but if you click again immediately, you sit in the new pose that you selected. This problem of getting dumped off the chair is a limitation of Open Simulator. I've submitted a bug report and it will be fixed one day, but for now there is no way to move an avatar after they are seated. So you have to jump off the chair and back on again to change positions. When this bug in Open Simulator is fixed, I will update the script and give a free update to everyone who has this system.